What's up guys, my name's Levi, this is Shred Shop, connect you to skateboarding, and today we're taking a first look at the Spitfire 93D Formula 4 wheels. This is an entirely new lane for Spitfire. They've had the 97, 99, and 101s, and then they've had the 80 HD wheels, which is a super soft wheel and super hard wheels. So it's either been soft or hard with nothing in between. Obviously you've seen in the last few years, a lot of brands releasing wheels that are soft, but they slide really well. OJ Wheels did the double durometer and the Nomad wheels. We had Powell with the Dragon wheels. We had Bones with the X-Formula wheels. And now we have Spitfire 93A Formula 4s. Spitfire's been working on these wheels for almost five years. And while other brands may have been the first to the market, Spitfire isn't late to the party, they're just a bit of perfectionists. Spitfire leaked a photo of these recently, and you can see in all the loads of comments, there's even a ton of pros that are commenting how much they love these wheels. The first photos they leaked were a team graphic and an Andrew Reynolds Pro Model wheel. And that's not by coincidence, because Andrew Reynolds was actually heavily involved in designing these wheels and perfecting them, and so it made sense for him to be the first Pro Model wheel in this lineup. And so for the last few years, Reynolds has been getting samples, taking notes, sending them back, and they've been working on perfecting the formula. These wheels are gonna release to your local skate shop on April 1st. Now it's no joke, no April Fool's joke, April 1st, for real. And for the original drop of these wheels, they're gonna come in a 52, 53, 54 classic shape in the Reynolds Pro model. And they'll also come in a radial shape team wheel in 54, 56, and 58, with more sizes and shapes coming later in the year. It's also interesting to note that these are considered a formula for urethane. Other pros that we've seen that have talked really highly about these wheels online have been Pedro Delfino, Ryan Lay, and Frank Gerwer. We're super hyped on these wheels, and you guys better be hyped on them too. We're gonna skate them and let you know how they go. I've rode these wheels quite a few times now, and I've got to ride them on really crusty Canadian ground, as well as in a smooth skateboard park. Unfortunately, it was snowing. We got another blast of winter right as we got these wheels, because it would be nice to go take them street skating. But riding them on really crusty ground, my first impressions were that they really absorbed a lot of vibration. You could tell you were riding a 93, but uh, the nice thing is you could slide them quite a bit more than what you would think you could slide a 93. It still obviously doesn't slide the same amount as a 99 is going to slide, but very impressive with how much it did slide. My first impressions after taking them to the indoor and the skateboard park was that they definitely performed way higher than what you'd expect from a 93. Like uh, people were blunt sliding them, back lipping them, back tailing them, and they actually slid, which was definitely impressive. Um, you could feel it sometimes when you were jamming into a back tail or a crook um, that it was a little bit softer and uh, stuck into the ledge a tiny bit more, but it was pretty impressive to see a 93 slide on a back lip. The other thing that I really liked about them compared to other 93s that I've rode is they didn't have any like squeak to them and some of the other softer wheels that I've rode. When people do feebles or different tricks like that, there's a little bit of a squeak. I definitely think these are the perfect wheel if you want to ride everywhere with your board and if you want to ride parks, crusty street spots, uh, cruise around town, it really is a wheel that can ride everywhere. I think if you're someone that's still just riding a skate park and just riding smooth surfaces, you probably want to stick to a Spitfire Formula 4 99 or 101 Duro, but I was definitely really impressed with how these wheels rode. Guys, I'm Levi, this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding, and you just watched a first look at the Spitfire 93A Formula 4 wheels. Stay tuned for comment of the week. Oh, we got a spicy one for you, my guys. It's from Heel Turns Face. He said, about me, this guy roasting Savier when he looks like he just got done smoking meth is priceless. Well, listen, bud, I don't smoke it, but I do have a pretty healthy dose of ADHD medication thanks to my doctor.